Welcome, Cancer and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid. This could resonate for you as a past, as a present, or a future situation. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, rising, and Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. The first card here says, Manifesting Miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Twin flames, your passion ignites. Okay? All right, what's going on here, please, for the collective? Cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. What is the energy here, please, for the collective? What is going on here for Cancer, please? What is going on here, please? For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Your energy, your person's energy, what's between you and this person, the obstacle, their thoughts about you, their feelings, their intentions, and actions. Okay. Yeah, so there is a lot of uh, specific, like, energy here on like manifestation like the intention that someone has to create an opportunity we do have the high priest or the hierophant of this deck which is taurus energy we have gemini virgo aquarius strong earth water i mean it could be truly any sign but very strong aquarius gemini virgo taurus i feel like you and this person have both been contemplating like coming back together after some time apart because you still feel very much connected to this person and I do see reconciliation here okay photograph looking at your photos missing you nostalgia and make new memories okay I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, flirting, want to date. Not today. Not dealing. Hurt. Avoid a conversation. Call or person. Boundaries or still angry. Lightning. Sudden change. Shocking news. Surprise. Epiphany. Upheaval or transformation. A coffee cup. Meeting and conversing. Savoring the moment. Feeling uplifted and friendship. I did also see under here date. As I'm looking at this all like uh, date, meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan and or set a date, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect, kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Uh, you, you see all this emphasis on like this very like intense feelings between two people. That's what I feel like here. I think that you've been kind of on the fence about what your approach should be. Should you reach out to this person? Should you just focus on you? Should you wait around for this connection? Do you move forward in a different direction? You are at a place in your life where you have many big decisions. For some of you, I feel like it's also in regards to like um, work, home life, family, school, you, you know, just many decisions you have to kind of make. you got to figure out, you know, what it is you're trying to move towards, what you're trying to create for yourself, and, and who's going to be a part of that? Like, will this person be a part of that future with you? Or do you move in a entirely new direction stepping outside of your comfort zone in your person's energy with two of cups they want to rekindle something with you two of cups friendship love partnership this is someone who wants to have like this really emotional like heart to heart with you and i feel like that's kind of uncharacteristic for this person i'm not saying that your person is not like affectionate but there's just something about like catching you off guard like this person coming in and just being the one to kind of initiate or prompt this conversation about these feelings and exchanging that. Like, this is how I feel. This is what I want. You know, I know that this probably made you feel like this. And then I felt like this. Like this person's like wanting to kind of lay it all out on the table. Two of Cups. They think of you as their soulmate. For some of you, you could even share like a telepathic connection with this person. Like maybe you kind of finish each other's sentences or kind of understand the other person. You know, between you with the star, well, this is about, for those of you where this might very well be like a twin flame or, you know, like a past life soulmate or something, this could uh, say there's reunion here between you and this person. Like you have come back together either now or soon, upcoming. 
Um, but the star is about wish fulfillment. It's about healing something. It's about a desire, a dream, a fantasy. But the obstacle being Page of Pentacles may be that someone has uh, like big dreams, but they do not have like the plans or the means to execute this dream. Like this person telling you they want to like marry you and buy a big house, but maybe they don't have a job or maybe they don't have the money to down payment on a house. You get what I'm saying? It's like someone who has this dream is talking about all of this, but it's like they mean well, they mean what they say, but their time frame might take longer than you anticipate. Like if this person says, I'm going to, you know, relocate, change jobs, move to where you are. That may not be something that they're able to just decide overnight and just do, you know, in the immediate. It might be one of those things where they start putting in applications or looking for an available position or something like that to move towards you. For some of you, I feel like this person is making all these promises for things that you had wished for before and it feels so good to hear. But you're also kind of nervous about repeating the past. But I mean, I do feel like, you know, you are seeing a lot of potential in this. And this is something that you have wished for. You hope that this person would come in and say all these things and do all these things and mean it. But obviously you have a lot to consider. They veer in you as like the one. But they're afraid that potentially you may not want to reconcile something with them or come together with them. They're afraid of rejection. They've been thinking that because of this distance time apart or that things have fallen through in the past that maybe you do not want to give them another chance but this person is in love with you pisces cancer scorpio energy knight of cups this person's in love and they want to make you an offer like i said kisses affection <laughs> falling in love welcoming the one getting together dating this person wants to date. They want to get together. They want to talk. They want to get together. Looking at your photos. Thinking about you. Missing you. Wanting to connect. Look at all this like beautiful energy. It's like right now you're not certain of what to do. Sudden change. But it's like this person. It's like right now because you and this person may not be in contact. Or may not really have had this talk at this moment in time. Um, this is all going to. Your perspective on this is really going to change. Because again this person's coming in kind of abruptly suddenly saying all the right things doing all the right things making you kind of you know let there be closeness but give it to their space i think if you're like you know i need time to kind of think about this consider this person's being really understanding you know they're saying they're gonna like hang around they'll wait for this i'm willing to be patient with you whatever it is that you need i'm just trying to manifest this opportunity because i can see something beautiful in long term in our future if you're willing to just give me the opportunity give me the chance to kind of mend and heal this be patient with me um the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to pull messages from your person I do want to mention, you guys, if you are interested in booking private readings with me, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description box below. And if you're wanting me to pull messages from your person in your private readings, please make sure you leave me a note telling me that so that I know you want those cards as well. I don't want to be rejected. Like I said, this person's very much afraid of you rejecting them. You are exactly what I wished for. Are you ashamed of me? I don't know how to answer questions about us. You saw the darkest parts of me and still you stayed. Yeah, I mean, I think that this person knows that they definitely made mistakes in the past and you stood by them through all of that. You're what I wished for. Are you ashamed of me and my past behavior? I don't know how to answer these questions about us. So this person's like, what do they tell people when they ask them, whatever happened to that cancer you were so excited about? Whatever happened to that person? You know, you used to talk about them all the time. What, you know, what happened for you guys? And what are they going to say? Well, I was a fool. I messed up. You know, that they're ashamed of themselves. They know that you might be as well. Um, they don't really know what you are. But like, you know, you're the one that got away. I'm not going anywhere. This person's not giving up. And like I said, there's something here about this person saying, you know, I'll be patient. You know, if you need time, if you're not ready, if you're not sure, we don't have to rush. I can feel you watching me. I got in trouble for talking to you. So for some of you, again, it could be that maybe there's some kind of interference here where maybe you're from different cultures, religions, backgrounds, or something, and maybe you're not supposed to, like, end up together. Maybe you guys work together. This could be a family friend for some of you. 
Uh, maybe someone was involved with a karmic partner. I don't get a lot of third party energy though for some of you. Spy in from a fake account. Dance with me. I can't move on from you. Yeah, so this person's basically saying they don't know how to answer questions because they haven't moved on from you. They can't. They've tried. Um, and you're truly what they want. You're what they wished for. They may want to like show you like physical affection or like take you dancing or take you out. And like I said, there's a lot of emphasis here on this person like wanting to take you out. Can we go for coffee? Can we go on a date? Can we talk? Can we, you know, try to move this forward? I miss you. I want to think about you all the time. This person might be ashamed if they've been watching you and they can feel you watching them or that you're thinking about them. Maybe some of you are watching readings about them, you know. I'm not going anywhere. I'm afraid of being rejected, though. This person's trying to manifest this opportunity. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and follow its guidance. Let there be closeness, but always go to their space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. Twin flames. For some of you, this could be a twin flame connection. This could be about reunion between two people who feel destined to be together. Um, ultimately, the choice is yours of what you want to do with this. But that's what I have for y'all. Thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.